Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 through 34. The Reverend Jeffrey Hemmer is preaching. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Jesus said, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, Will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may worry, or you may have faith. You may worry, or you may have God. You may worry, or you may have a heavenly Father. Worry is for the fatherless, for the Gentiles, for the heathens, not for you. You cannot have two gods. Every act of worrying is breaking the first commandment, distrusting your heavenly Father, doubting whether he really does have your best interests in mind. There is a liturgy of worry into which the devil, the world, and your sinful flesh invite you to participate. Consider all the dangers that you face. What if this month's paycheck doesn't cover all the expenses? What if the test results are positive? What if your computer crashes, or your house burns down, or your car won't start? or the policeman wakes you with a knock in the middle of the night, or your kid doesn't make the team, or your husband spends another night away, or your party loses another election, or your dad's Alzheimer's progresses. Any one of these could happen, which would be bad, but it would not change your Heavenly Father's love for you. Worry is sin, pure and simple. It is not fitting for children of the Heavenly Father to worry because worry wars against faith. They cannot coexist. If you give in to worry, it eats away at faith. If you succumb to faith, it dispels worry. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other or be devoted to the one and despise the other. Do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Which of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his span of life? Which of you, by being anxious, can add a single dollar to his bank account? Which of you, by worrying, can add a single minute to her day, an ounce of food to his pantry, a shred of respect to his reputation, a thread of clothing to her closet? Worry accomplishes nothing except to make you doubt your Heavenly Father's provision for you. Do not be anxious. 
Jesus says over and again in this reading. Telling an anxious person not to be anxious has about the same effect as telling an angry person to calm down, a depressed person to cheer up, a wailing child to be quiet, a dead person to get up, unless you're Jesus. Then dead people rise, deaf people hear, blind people see, mute men speak, the mentally ill are in a right state of mind, depression is cured, anxiety allayed, worry calmed. All this is yours in baptism. Wholeness of body and mind. Do not be anxious from Jesus is less a command and more a description of your life with a heavenly Father. He heals you from anxiety and worry. Look at the birds of the air. They don't work long, late hours, and yet each one has enough to eat for every day that the Creator has given it life. And what is a single sparrow worth? Consider the flowers of the field. They do not sweat or fret, hurry or worry, and yet each one is not without beautiful array as long as God gives it life. And what is a roadside lily worth? But you, you who have been reborn through the waters of holy baptism, who have been marked with the very name of the triune God, what are you worth? The life of God. Grass can flourish and fade, sp sparrows fly and fall. God never gave his life for them, but for you. Not for sparrows or lilies or, as you heard yesterday, angels. For nothing else in all creation except for you, for mankind. God died. The second person of the eternal triune God took flesh in the virgin's womb the purpose of his living was to die, and not to die a natural death. For the sinless Son of God, death was never a natural end, but to die the death of sinners, the unnatural perversion of God's very good creation, separated from God the Father by their rebellion against him. You are worth the life of Jesus. There is another liturgy, the liturgy of faith, into which Jesus bids you participate. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? The Gentiles seek after all of those things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Worry is for the fatherless. You have a father. In holy baptism, God has adopted you, made you his own, and promised to take care of you better than any earthly father. Therefore, the Catechism teaches with, we should approach our Heavenly Father with all this boldness and confidence, knowing that he provides daily bread for as many days as he gives breath. He who did not spare his own son, but graciously gave him up for you, will he not also continue with him to give you all things needful to support this body and life? If God has given you Jesus, if he continues to give you Jesus, you can trust him with all those little things that you used to worry about. Every day God gives you life, he gives enough to support your body and life. Sufficient for the day is its own evil. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. About the, what then will you worry? Nothing. Everything else pales in comparison to this fact. You belong to the Lord who loves you in Jesus Christ. Even if food and drink and clothing cease, your Lord has promised to deliver you from this veil of tears to himself in paradise. What shall we eat? Even if food runs out, we shall continue to eat the bread of life, the body of Jesus, born of the Virgin, crucified for you. What shall we drink? Even if drink runs dry, we shall continue to drink the blood of Jesus, poured from his pierced side to forgive you of your sins.
things. What shall we wear? Even if clothes wear out, we shall continue to wear the righteousness of Jesus, His holiness, delivered to you in baptism, draped over you in absolution. The cure for worry, the antidote for anxiety is what you will eat and what you will drink and what you will wear. Eat the body of Jesus that forgives all your sins, even worry. Drink the blood of Jesus that washes away anxiety. Hear his word of absolution that silences all the voices of worry. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his holy word and sacraments. Hear to forgive your sins, and all the rest of your daily bread will be added unto this. What then is there left to worry about? Nothing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.